All right, this is FSD Beta 10. 10.1 2020 So thanks for tuning in. <sighs> thanks for tuning in because um, this is the latest update, really just bug fixes at this point. Um, technically the 11th update, but uh, Tesla Autopilot team's calling it 10.1, so it's not the full 11 stack. It's noticing a lot of debris on the side, so it's just trying to navigate that so it's really really good that it's able to see that and handle that oh, all right had to disengage there just because I personally did not feel comfortable going up and over that hill uh, to be really honest so that's kind of partially on me but I also didn't feel like it was gonna slow up going out there so okay so it's looking looking no cars it's gonna go I'll make sure to send that in because I think it partially needs to know about you know hills and elevation and when it's going up, like, um, I don't know. I mean, but again, it's, it's, um, it also not only, I think, is it redefining what safety should look like and could look like, but it's also potentially reshaping like what comfort should look like, like in that situation. So it felt like that car was completely coming over. Um, so shout out to the Model X right there. Okay, so it thinks it's like gonna turn or something, and it's not. Just send that bad boy in. But I do think that, you know, as it's reshaping comfort, um, yeah, I just, you know, going up and over the hill without it seeing, me being able to see it just kind of, you know, uh, I didn't wanna go 25 miles an hour into cars. Not that it has done that, but I just wanted to make sure that um, I was in control and felt comfortable. So that was kind of more on me, but at the same time, I don't regret it. That's why safety and caution are number one right now. complete stop more like California rolling stop and some of you guys want me to report all of those so I'll send that in too
way, so this is new. left here so making the left all right we have a person up here on the right a right up here so it has done very well handling pedestrians on the side of of this road so you know I've been happy with that I think there's been there's just several things that like there's just no doubt about it you know it handles pedestrians well it's handling neighborhoods very well street city streets um, uh, and obviously the highway fairly well I think again it's just it's kind of just those those edge cases um, it's just those edge cases with, um, you know, having a lane over, you know, one left lane over and then, um, a lane going straight. Sometimes it can't always figure that out, but, um, there's also times where it can do it now. So just lots of things to be, to be, to be excited about. Um, I think you know, when Tesla rolls this out, not that I can speak for Tesla, but they just need to be very clear what this is and what it's not. I think that's the big kicker here. So, all right, so we're gonna be making a right here and then a quick, I would say a fairly quick left. I mean, it's not immediate, immediate. But it's um, enough of a challenge, okay? So stop and then it's gonna go. All right, shout out to the Model 3 over here. straight
So we are making a left here. Okay, it's gonna creep a little bit forward. At least it says for visibility. Creeping forward, cars coming. There's a biker coming too, but I think there should be enough time if it's clear. Let this car go by. Okay, and it handled that well. Very good. So we'll be making a right here, and it should be going over to the far right, so we'll see. And this is actually a stop on red. So, okay, right turn, okay. So it should stay, oh, and it's green. That is savage, sick. All right, and it's even slowing up a little bit, but it knew that it was a stop on red right hand turn so very very good stoked to see that all right guys i'm gonna kill this thank you again for tuning in check out the links below check out our sponsors feel free to support us if you can have a good one